Shalom and thank you for joining us for this All Israel News feature. I'm Kayla Sprague and I want to invite you to witness a powerful display of solidarity here at Jaffa Gate as indigenous leaders from across the globe are gathering to proclaim their unwavering support for Israel and her people. This remarkable delegation spans from continents, from Fiji's leadership standing firmly with Israel, to representatives from Taiwan's indigenous tribes, to Native American nations from the United States, and Maori leaders from New Zealand. What makes their presence even more significant is that several members of this delegation were here last year when the war broke out in October 2023, and they chose to stay, declaring that they did not want to run away during war, but stayed with those they considered family. The most important thing is we're here to stand with Israel. And we will be constantly praying for you and praying uh, you know, to bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It means so much to us that you're here, especially during this time. I was talking to Pastor Charles before. Would you share also where you're from? Okay. And you said you've been to Israel not once, not twice, but... This is my 24th uh, trip to Israel. Wow. And my second time in Israel this year. And I'm from uh, USA, from California. I'm both Taiwanese and American. So I visit Taiwan every year and visit Israel every year. Wow. And I feel at home whenever I come to Israel because my Messiah was born here. <laughs> he was made in Israel. At the heart of this initiative is Alfred Naro, former New Zealand cabinet minister whose own story bridges cultures and continents. He's the co-founder of the Indigenous Coalition for Israel. Naro brings a unique perspective as his grandmother, Rita Goldstein, brought her Jewish heritage to the Cook Islands, creating a living testament to the connection between indigenous people worldwide. This solidarity walk was a vision and a desire of Grand Chief Linda Prince. She's one of the Grand Chiefs from First Nations, been here many years, and really it was a desire for her just to walk in solidarity. Many of us that are here have come from different parts of the world, uh, some of us all the way from the furthest, uh, that's in New Zealand. Uh, we've come here many times before in peace, but we come here in war because our love is for the nation and for its people of Israel. So this is a, a walk, a solidarity walk for Indigenous Embassy for Jerusalem, but it's for all people that are here. And so we want to make our way down. Uh, we've got some people that will be leading us uh, on this march. And again, it's a, it's a walk in solidarity down to the Kotel. And as we're doing that, we'll be able to then be together as people coming and walking in solidarity with you as well. So we want to thank everyone for coming. Thank you for welcoming us. For the Jewish people and Israeli leaders, this show of solidarity carries profound significance. At a time when Israel's connection to the land is frequently challenged on the world stage, having indigenous leaders from across the globe stand up and affirm the recognition of the Jewish people's ancestral rights sends a powerful message. We wanted to be here to show uh, the people of Israel, the Jewish people particularly, and Israel that we stand with you, we pray for you, and this march is just our small demonstration of saying that uh, uh, we want to be visible and say uh, we stand with you. These are leaders who understand deeply what it means to have an unbreakable bond with ancestral lands. Their voice carries the weight of shared experience and historical understanding. Their presence here demonstrates those who understand best the significance of ancestral connections. Indigenous people themselves recognize and affirm the Jewish people's ancient ties to this land we're standing on right now. These leaders speak with one voice, affirming their understanding of what it means to have an unbreakable bond with their lands. Their presence sends a powerful message. It resonates beyond Jerusalem's stone walls to indigenous people across the world that are standing with Israel and her people. Thank you for watching. For more coverage of this historic visit and other Israel-related content, visit our website at allisrael.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for continuous updates.